All right, this is the eighth grade TCAP practice test uh, for math. This is question number 10. Which linear equation is best represented by this graph? I will say ahead of time, the maybe the easiest way to get this right is just to graph them in your calculator. So just plug them in and look and see which one gives you the answer. Before you even do that, to save yourself time, please scout the problem. This question, uh, all these equations down below are in slope-intercept form. which is called slope-intercept because it speaks to the idea of having a slope and an intercept. You might be able to get this right without doing very much work. Now, if you look at the slope of the line, the line is going down over time. So from left to right, it's going down. Right here, that would be down. Always talk about slope from left to right, by the way. Never try to think about it going the opposite way. That's weird. Uh, in this case, things that go down like that are negative. So my slope chosen should be a negative. So anything down below that doesn't have a negative in it is out. So this is gone, and J is also gone. So my only options are F and G. Now, the other part of it would be the intercept. So anything after the x in this form would be the intercepts. If I, uh, the y-intercept, I should say. It's where it hits the y-axis. It's kind of like an interception is where the defender uh, runs into the ball and hopefully catches it. Otherwise, it's just a, an incomplete pass, but whatever. Anyway, the y-intercept. So it's where it crosses the y-axis. That would be, in this case... Right here, that's the y-intercept. That's a y-intercept of positive 1. So if I look down below, only one of the answers has a y-intercept of plus 1 and a negative slope, so the answer is F. You save yourself a heck of a lot of time just scouting the problem before you waste all this time typing stuff into the calculator. If this was answer J instead of answer F, you would have gone through three other ones to find out it's not it. And then sometimes on a calculator, F and G look a heck of a lot alike. So... Um, I mean, if you wanted to go through the idea of finding the slope, the negative 2 would be negative 2 over 1, and I'd find any point on the graph that crosses at uh, a corner and find another one, so like right in here, and I go, in order to do this, I need to go down 2, 1, 2, so that would be the minus 2, and then over 1, so it would give me negative 2 over 1, find the intercept. But really, these types of problems, scout ahead of time. Don't waste your time doing something that's meaningless.